Hello, my name is Kevin Edikowski, and this episode is on stress. So I have a question. Are you stressed? Is the MCAT too much for you? Well, suck it up, because we need to look at how we appraise stress. This theory will be the theory of cognitive appraisal developed by Lazarus and Folkman in the 80s. If you remember, Lazarus was the person that came up with the common sense theory of emotion. Now, the theory of cognitive appraisal argues that there are two appraisals for a stressor primary and secondary appraisal. Primary appraisal is determining whether an event is negatively stressful, good stress, also called eustress, or benign. So is the dog glaring its teeth at me a stressor? Well, maybe if it wasn't a cute little pug. Now, that assessment is primary appraisal. Secondary appraisal is determining if I can cope with that stressor. Think you'll be okay coping with that cute little pug? Well, I certainly hope so. But let's now talk about Holmes and Rahe and what they believed about how stress is caused. After asking 5,000 medical patients if they had any of 43 life events in the past two years, such as divorce or entering college, they found that these events correlated with becoming ill. They made this social readjustment rating scale to rank these events in their likelihood of becoming ill. Something interesting is that later a study looked at daily hassles and daily uplifts and found them to be a better predictor of anxiety and depression. And the uplifts positively affected women, but not of men. Probably why most men rarely say, that made my day. Now, next, we need to mention fight or flight. This is a stress response where your pupils dilate, your blood pressure increases, you reduce parasympathetic response, you start to sweat, Basically, it's like things getting hot and heavy on your Friday night date. At this point, you're probably thinking of general adaption syndrome. Do you remember what the mnemonic for it is? You are running out of gas. Gas for general adaption syndrome and R, A-R-E, for alarm phase where cortisol and other stress responses mobilize. Resistance phase where cortisol stays high while the body tries to adapt to the stressor and E for exhaustion phase, where the ability to resist the stressor decreases from overuse and you become susceptible to illness. Now back to fight or flight. What is the issue with fight or flight's theory's scope? Well, it's extremely androcentric. Fight or flight was predominantly studied while looking at testosterone and catecholamines. Although stress causing fight or flight in women does occur, it isn't as practical, at least in the times of our ancestors, when most of the women had children. Instead, the tend and befriend model is much better suited. Instead of flighting from your children, you tend to them. And instead of fighting, you befriend your company, creating protection for yourself and children. Research validates this preference for women to tend and befriend. Men do it as well, but to a lesser extent. Interestingly enough, in times of stress, both women and men seek out women for social support, Probably just because women are right 99% of the time. How else may we cope with these stresses if not flighting, fighting, tending, or befriending? Well, first, there is emotional focus coping. It is a coping mechanism by which you attempt to reduce the emotional impact by drinking, meditation, drugs, or in my case, eating peanut butter. Oh, it's so good. But anyways, so emotional focus coping is coping with stress by reducing negative emotions. Problem-focused coping, on the other hand, involves getting down to business and fixing the problem at hand. This is the proper way to face a stress. So how might you apply problem-focused coping as a physician? Well, you're probably going to seek advice from other physicians, maybe do a quick literature search to help your unusual patient, or maybe better manage your time to get all the work done that you need to. But you can't always do this. For instance, if somebody dies, you can try as hard as possible to reincarnate them, but it won't work. And that's the end of this episode.